what up guys happy friday hope everyone's having a great day so this is a sneak peek as promised i'm going to be putting on these parts on my 22 lowrider st this week and yeah let's start with the risers and the bar so roland sands came out this sector collection which consists of the bars the cam covers derby covers gauge relocators i went with the nickel i believe it only comes in two colors black and nickel so i went with the nickel i don't know if you guys could see this the camera's picking up but it's a beautiful finish so that's the cam cover it's the gauge relocator and i went with a 10 inch kickback riser and nickel with the one piece head. So I can't wait to put that on. And pretty much everything on my bike is gonna be a black and nickel theme. The Behringer radial calipers I ordered, those are in nickel as well. And also the perch mounts are gonna be in nickel. So I think it's gonna look really good. I went with the ODI bar. I believe this is a four inch rise. So total it's about 14 inches, which is perfect for my height. And let's talk about the brake arm. So my last video, you guys saw that I did forward controls on my Lowrider ST. And there really isn't too many options for brake arms, uh, for the pegs or mini floorboards. I found this company Cross Thread Cycles. This is a beautiful billet piece. And I'm excited to put it on because I heard it's a little bit shorter, so it's easier to reach than the stock Harley one. So I will show you guys that once I put it on. Following that, I'm gonna be putting on the mini floorboards from Thrashin. Thrashin is doing a kick-ass job right now. You don't see too many videos of installs without their name being thrown in. I know they've had these mini floorboards for a long time. I do like them, but I am still looking to see if there's any other options. If you guys know of any other companies that has a similar size to the Thrasher mini floorboards, please let me know. And let's go to the LP6 light. <laughs> Man, once you put these on, it's like Christmas. They are so bright, and I love that. Especially if you do a lot of nighttime riding. So I was actually about to go with the LP4, but I ran into this company, Prior Performance. <clears throat> and shout out to Brandon. Uh, thank you so much. He really helped me out a lot. So the reason I ended up getting the LP6 is because... Cali Ray's Moto has a bracket, but the LP6 sticks out from the fairing about an inch. And I don't like that look. I like a more recessed look. So prior performance came out with this bracket. Let me show you guys. So this is where the, uh, the light mounts to. And as you can see, it's really short. So once you put this on, it's gonna have that recessed look and it won't stick out. You do have to do a little bit of trimming on the fairing, which I'm okay with. So I'm gonna be installing this this week. So I will show you guys the whole process. And the Legend suspension. I went with the front drop-ins. I am gonna eventually get the rear. I went with Legend just because of how involved they are in the community, and I really love that, so I had to support them. But yeah, this is pretty much every... Oh, lastly, Green Brother Shift Linkage. So I got the carbon fiber one, if you guys can see this. Beautiful finish. It even comes with the ARP bolts, already in black anodized. <clears throat> 
and for what you pay you really get good quality and bang for your buck with this um, I am gonna be doing a little bit of carbon fiber on the lowrider ST uh, I was looking for a company that has the front fender maybe the tank dash and also the rear <clears throat> um, I only found bagger options like I know DTF and Hoffman they make carbon fiber for baggers if you guys know of any companies that do it for soft tails please let me know but yeah that's pretty much everything can't wait to show you guys i'll be doing the installs this week and i will see you then have a great weekend